this you have got in your career? Yeah, for sure. I, uh, <clears throat> I was sure that uh, Ole would beat me when I saw he uh, had so good, uh, good, good speed on his skis on the last uh, last loop there. I was sure he was going to beat me, but yeah, one man's uh, luck is another one's uh, death, I guess. So. <laughs> what did you think when he when he fell? Um, felt sorry for him, but I thought, yeah, well, that's good for me. So <laughs> that's life. Uh, did you think you were going to win with one penalty? I think I was uh, having a good chance because I felt uh, felt good. I had a very strong opening, I think, and uh, yeah, good speed on, speed on the skis today as well. So yeah, I was uh, quite sure that I would uh, at least fight for the victory. If you compare your skiing today and Thursday, was it approximately the same or was it better? Or? I think it was better in the start uh, today, but a little bit slower in the end. So. I didn't quite have the last loop that I had on uh, Thursday, so, yeah. You must be uh, quite confident then before tomorrow, after two victories? Yeah, for sure, I feel, uh, feel really good and uh, uh, I'm in an attacking position all the time, so, yeah, I feel it's no limits and feel unstoppable, really. After what you said on Thursday, has somebody called you from the Norwegian Ski Federation? <laughs> Uh, no, not yet. Uh, still waiting for the call. Uh, yeah, but uh, I think it's fun to race biathlon too, so it's no crisis if it doesn't happen. So, yeah. Was this a better race than on um, Thursday, or was it better on Thursday? I'm really happy that I managed to clean the, the standing because I have been struggling a little bit, and today was the opposite of uh, Thursday with uh, one mistake only on the on the prone. So. Yeah, definitely uh, a step in the right direction on the standing and that was good, that was very good for my confidence. What are you going to do to keep this good form for it's very early in the season yet? Yeah, it's definitely early and uh, I think it's uh, hard to keep uh, as good shape uh, that I have now uh, all the season, but I think I, <clears throat> even if I lose a few seconds I'll still be, be quite good, so uh, I think um, it's no problem to, uh, to have at least one more, one more uh, like uh, peak on the form. So I hope to uh, uh, get that in in Hapti and uh, for the World Championships I will have the the best form of the season. But uh, between now and then, I just hope to yeah be be um, skiing quite good. Is there any chance of having any periods for recovery and charging the batteries again during the season? Oh, you always have Christmas, but uh, that's full of training also, so uh, it's, uh, it's a hard life in the winter and <laughs> I think uh, there will be not much rest uh, from now until April, so uh, it's, uh, it's a hard uh, half year. Okay, we go to Ole. I think maybe this is one of the press conferences you didn't like to go to. <laughs> Tell us about what happened. You know me. <laughs> I know you, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, yeah, it was a really good race today. I should have clean and uh, maybe the best race for many many years, I think. Um, I was in good shape also. Fantastic ski and yeah, uh, I need to learn to standing on my skis. Then it uh, could be better. Uh, on uh, Thursday you lost quite a lot to Emil at the end. Uh, now, as long as you were standing on your skis, you, you followed him. Was it extra bitter to, to have taken a fall when you went so good? Uh, it was two different races, uh, Thursday and today. Uh, today I, I started a bit uh, slower and, and uh, Thursday I go really fast in the first first two rounds and uh, that's the difference I think. Have you ever done something like this before in your long career? Like the fall? I this is the second time. I, when, I, when was the first? 2001, in, uh, I lost the uh, World Champion Gold uh, to Rafael Poré in Slovenia. So it's not every year. <laughs> what, what happened actually? Was it an ice there or were you not concentrated or what happened? Yes, I think that uh, uh, there was, I don't uh, had the right uh, track. Uh, I, I feel uh, I go. Um, I tried to go inside, but uh, I have no chance to go there to what I want, I, I want to go. So I come out on the, out of, of the uh, on the ice, and uh, then I put, put the 
right on the inside, and that should man not, not do. What went through your head at that point when you stood up again? Uh, I lose the gold. <laughs> Okay, but uh, how come this big improvement in the skiing from Thursday till today? Was, was it just coincident or no, what? I was in good shape also on Thursday. Uh, Emma was really strong, but uh, the race on Thursday was also really good, so it's not a big difference. It's uh, almost the same race. Okay, go home and forget about the fall, Ole. Martin, we have the same three guys. You are not so surprised, maybe, that it's the same three guys as on Thursday? I'm uh, really happy to, to be on the podium again with uh, Emilia and Olaf. And um, today it, um, I was better, but I uh, still not found the uh, turbo button. But uh, I hope uh, I will uh, find it uh, in, in, some, uh, in some days. No, she's not better. You lost a little bit at the last uh, kilometers. Do you still have some problems with your stomach? or? No, my stomach is, uh, is better, but uh, my, uh, I need some time to, to wake up with my shape and, uh, and to be faster on the last lap. I think uh, it will be okay soon, but uh, my body needs to, to wake up with it. What must you do tomorrow to beat these two guys? Uh, <laughs> tomorrow I will start with uh, the red bib. It will be my uh, first time. And, uh, my, um, my aim is to keep it, but uh, I'm sure Emil uh, will not uh, okay with this and Ole uh, too, so I, uh, I will try to fight with them uh, and uh, to, to ski uh, faster than us tomorrow. So you are quite satisfied today also? Yes, I'm satisfied.